Library and welcome to Ukulele Kids and I've got four songs for you today that all are things that that we like and so we're gonna tune up and then we're gonna start right off so here we go we first string anyone say what that is that one is our G string all right and our C string string and a string all right so last week I did a little bit of a challenge and a, a warm-up with playing your fingers over 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 more than one string so what is called a bar chord today we are going to learn two bar chords and one in fact we're going to that we're going to do is um a very common chord which is one of my least favorite to play but you're going to put two fingers over there on on the e and the a string over that on the first fret doesn't sound very pretty right there but the trick to these is getting your thumb let's see there we go getting your thumb so that's kind of right over it so you can use that to push down so try going up and your, your thumb is going to follow you up as you go so we are going to going to do that and we're and we're going to add a couple more fingers to it for um for a chord so this is something to practice is push down on those and then go to three and make sure that now that first one's not sounding very well so we're gonna get, get my thumb closer to that and the other thing is sometimes you have to take and really use not not the finger but you're gonna use there's um, a little if you can feel along this little bony place on your on the back of your finger that's right about there and so that's that's a place that you can use also to to get all of those down so those are called bar chords it can be a two bar a three bar or or a four bar four string four string one two two three or four string so that's something that we're going to continue to working work on because um i want to make sure that you all learn to play uh, some of these because there's some common chords that that do use a bar but not our first one our first one was a new song to me it's called the laughing song and it's just a just a super silly song that just uses just C F and G just our our three old first friends there and uh, in this the words are oh my name is ticklish Reuben from from way down in old Vermont. Well, I wrote in the music, feel free to make it your own name. So I am gonna sing that my name is, is Ticklish Holly from way down in old Wakefield. So you can do anything that you'd like with that. And um, it's just a silly. And the thing is you have to let yourself go because you've got your words. I've been tickled by almost everything. I've been tickled by a feather, tickled by a wasp. I've been tickled by a yellow bumblebee. And all the rest of the words are just laughing. And it says, oh, ha, ha, ha. But you're not, it's not like, oh, ha, ha, ha. It's more like, ha, 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 So really let yourself laugh in it. And I'll tell you, um, when I was practicing this before, um, before I got this camera set up, I just felt so good just to laugh. <laughs> so the song goes like this. So it's, I'm giving you like the G string. Just play the G string. There's your first note. Oh, my name. So... Oh, my name is Ticklish Holly from way down in Old Wakefield. I've been tickled by almost everything. I've been tickled by a feather. I've been tickled by a wasp. I've been tickled by a yellow bumblebee. Here goes the hop. Oh! <laughs> But it just 
just feels so good just to laugh. So it's just a very simple little song that was a popular novelty song back, ways back. So it's called The Laughing Song. So that is just one that was, I think, was just a fun one to warm up with. The next one is one that um, I bet you all know. It was used in the Toy Story, You've Got a Friend in Me, is what it's called by Randy Newman. And this one um, has got um, chords we've seen all the way through. We've got, of course, it's you know, C, F, and G. And then C7, there's, I think there's only one C7 in there, two C7s. And then what we've not done for a while, I'm going to put up is the, the E7. It is a great chord. It's such a good chord. It's, it's one. It likes, um, in, in the case of this one, it's again, it's one of those seventh chords that, that don't stand on their own, but they have to go someplace. And this one just goes to uh, an A minor, and it sounds really pretty. And so there's A minor and then D minor. We're going to use the two-finger D minor. And remember that because this may be when we're going to learn the other version, the bar version to it. So I'll, let's put up the, the E7 again. And going to the, to the A, just slip that finger over right there. And you're going to be ready to go to the F. And then D7 is just... All right, let's hear how this one sounds. So here we go. I'm going to go kind of slow because there are a lot of chords in this one. Here we go. You've got a friend in me. You've got a friend in me. When the road looks rough ahead and you're miles and miles from your nice warm bed, just remember what your old pal That's kind of it. And when you plant, take it careful. They, they go pretty well. Now, this is something that I've said before, and I say it all the time. There's a lot of chord changes. They're not really all that hard, but that's, it's, they're not hard to me, you know? So I, they, they probably are, um, because I, I practice them. I love to close my eyes, you know, and listen. I'm going from C to G. Yep, that feels right right there. And then this goes back to C. And then C7, how does that feel? It's down here, right there. And just how does it feel when you're doing it? In the case of the G7, I'm going to slip my finger over. You got a friend in me when the road looks rough. Now, C to E7, you're going to reach all the way across and over. Oh, see, I, I, wasn't, I wasn't all the way there. Road looks rough. And from the, the E7, I, I know that that it, I can just slide down. I, but I'm swapping fingers so that I can get to that. So from, from the E7, I'm not just going to slide down. I'm going to swap around fingers so I'm ready for my playing my app. So sit and figure that out. Write it in. Write it right next to the words in, into, the, into your music because... I do that all the time. You know, I'll put like a big second finger or things just so that I know that that's what's going on. All right, the next one is a song that you know. In fact, it is a super easy song that you know if we play it in the key of C, which we are going to to start off with, and that is You Are My Sunshine. But because of what this week is, we can actually make it You Are My Valentine, My Only Valentine. You make me happy when skies are gray. You'll never know, dear, how much I love you. Please don't take my Valentine away. So you can sing it for Valentine's Day, or you can sing You Are My Sunshine. And this one's one of these kind of good ones to learn, because it's a popular song. But I want to do it not in C. One key we really have not done much in is um, F. We've done all the songs we've done to F have been F in and C, F and C7, but in F, F and, and C are, they're definitely part of the same family, but the other chord in that family is the B flat. 
and um, B flat is a is one of those keys that no one likes and some of it is because it is a bar we're gonna remember I showed you in the beginning putting two fingers over them your first finger over two strings sorry and then the real way to do this is to drop those other two kind of in a little little diagonal and it's hard to do because you have to keep this nice and flat and then by doing that flat it's hard to get those curved enough that you can get up there and you have to make sure that that thumb is there pushing really hard down there and you can almost like rotate your finger and make sure that it's um I like to it, it's kind of hard to see but um it's it's hard it's hard to keep it because it wants to turn this way but try to keep it as straight as you can and when you play it you want to and adjust there we go I, I've got it pushing that hard up that it's not playing but I want to tell you there is kind of another way to play that that B flat and that is to play just three strings I'll effectively put up this is the this is the the, the full way the four strings right here you'll see that it uses it, it, it says one one on those two fingers that means you're gonna use just gonna put that over that and then two and three so using all your fingers to do that but the other way to do it in fact this is a way that um, that I started doing the B flat and that is to put your fingers one, two, and three, and nothing at all. In fact, I can't even show you. You're not gonna do anything at all here um, on the A string. You're gonna, gonna put the other three in a little line, like this. But the trick is, you can't play that note. You're only gonna, you're gonna play those three strings. So you have to kind of practice not getting the whole thing, but just do the three. What I tend to do is I tend to do what you can see here. I, I make sure that if, I, if I'm doing that, even that, that I use this one as a little stop. So here is, let's do this one. Oh, in fact, I see that I've got a chord in the wrong place, which I will fix for you here. Um, so it's in the key of F. So we're going to use, we're going to use F. We're going to use B flat and we're going to use C just those three chords and the first time through I'm going to do it using just the the simplified version of the B flat with the just the two the uh, the three so let's try this and so the first time through I'm going to use my thumb rather than rather than strumming because I, I, I want to just get the feel of doing just those three strings and you can let it hit that one and kind of stop it and that's that's what we'll do for this first one sunshine my only sunshine you make me happy when skies are gray you'll never know dear how much i love you please don't take my sunshine away all right so there it is it, it won't sound any different either um than it will with with everything but i think it's good to do that so let's try it with everything you are my sunshine, my only sunshine. You make me happy when skies are gray. You'll never know, dear, how much I love you. Please don't take my sunshine away, or my valentine away. And I'm sorry, that is, that's kind of high, but I wanted to do it, I wanted to do it in F so we could do that. So just try that. You don't have to commit to playing lots of things with B flats. I'm not going to throw them in that much, but it's good to do it. And also just trying it kind of can, you're building up that strength because that one is only a two, but then getting those other two up kind of upright, it's hard. It's not, not an easy thing to do, but it's the beginning of, of moving on beyond like all the basics. You know, I mean, you're taking a step into, into becoming, you know, ready to play a lot of other things. All right, and my last one is one that I bet you know too, is Skidamarink. I bet you've done that one. Just just the little, you know, Skidamarink, a dink a dink, Skidamarink a do. I love you. So I, I bet you know that one. Well, this one, it's, it's um, I put this one in the, key, in the key of G just because I wanted to put in uh, the D7. The D7 is a first of the bar chords that you learn. We know it like this with just two fingers. 
we know it like that. And I'll play it. Sometimes I like the sound of this better. There are sometimes when I see a song that has a G7 in it, or I'm sorry, a D7 in it, I will play the two-fingered version of it. But sometimes I like it the other way. So let me play it both ways. Just here we go. Skin of a rink a dink a dink, skin of a rink a do. That's one version. The other D7 is a bar chord. You hold down, it's the second. You're gonna put your index finger over the end, all of the strings on the second fret. And then you're gonna put down next to it. You're gonna add, I, I usually do use my, my third finger on that, or you can even use your fourth finger on it. You're gonna drop it down on the third fret of um, the, the E string, just like you're playing a C. And so you're gonna, you're gonna hold that down. And once you learn it, it's faster. It's faster than doing this. So, so I am a fan of the barred version of that. Let's see how that sounds. skin a rink a dink a dink skin a rink a do Just going, um, where is that? Oh, the second verse. So you're just gonna just gonna be dropping that over and keeping that third finger. And that actually is an easier. It's easier to play this than it is to do this. And some of it is is the farther away that you get from the nut. The easier it is to play the the bar the bar chords. It's really it's really easy the farther up. So this one's not too bad. So that's what I have for you today. Is just just that is to kind of challenge you to try to use some of these these uh, little bit more advanced chords that um, you're covering more than one string with um, with a finger, and there are a lot of them and. Um, I can, and later on as we get going, uh, I can show you there's some tricks there's that other places you can play these rather than there. If there's one that's really nasty, and I know a couple places to play that B flat, then I don't have to play the B flat because I can go up here and play a B flat right up here rather than, and sometimes it's quicker for me to do that. You, you can see the B flat's not my favorite. But, but uh, I do, I, I am a huge fan of the, of the D7 using the bar chord. I just think it's a nice sounding chord. All right, well, shall we try these and as a play along? All right, all right, shall we get going? The laughing song, use your own name, use Wakefield, use wherever you're from, wherever you'd like. And um, G string will give you your first note, my name, here we go. Oh, my name is Ticklish Holly from way down in Old Wakefield. I've been tickled by almost every by a wasp. I've been tickled by a yellow bumblebee. Now lots of laughing here. song. You've got a friend in me and we're using the two-fingered, uh, the two-fingered D7 chord here. 
All right, ready? Here we go. You've got a friend in me. You've got a friend in me. When the road looks rough ahead and you're miles and miles from your nice warm bed, just remember what your old pal said. Yeah, you've got a friend in, oops, you've got mistakes there. You'll do better. <laughs> um. All right, you are my sunshine. I think I'm going to sing it as Valentine. All right, let's do uh, You Are My Sunshine, but let's call it You Are My Valentine just because of where it is. You are my Valentine, my only Valentine. You make me to do it uh, we'll do it twice in the key of F even though it's high we'll do that and the first time we're gonna do do our um, our B flat with three fingers and we'll use and make sure that you don't get the last one sounds bad just all right you are my Valentine my only Valentine you For the very bold, let's do it with them, with the entire, the entire B flat chord. Here we go. You are my Valentine, my only Valentine. You make me happy when skies are gray. You never know, dear, how much I love you. Please don't take my Valentine away. All right, and. Our last one is Skinnamarink. And we'll do this also, both versions. And I think last week we were doing, I was saying that when, when I, when, when, whenever I'm playing um, the, like a D or D7, I like to keep my hand, you know, like rather than having it down like Skinnamarink. I like to do it just up a little bit just because we're going to be doing, um, the, the, the D7. The D7 is much like the D in the fact that it's got you're up there in this area. So here we go. Let me see. Let's see.
but do, do practice. It's really useful. And almost always it's gonna to go to the G and you're right there, so it, it works really well. All right, well, uh, thank you um, for coming and I hope you have a great week and um, get those finger string to play some bar chords. All right, thank you, bye-bye.